So pain, and I'm talking emotional pain, is part of life. And if you really want to go out there and do anything at the biggest and the highest and the best level in sales and business or whatever, you're going to have to go through a lot more pain, a lot more struggle than most people are willing to go through. But these people have developed ways to deal with this pain better than other people. You know, one of the reasons we find pain so painful, emotional pain so painful, is that when we actually look at the human brain and what gets lit up in the brain when you're feeling emotional pain, it's the same area in your brain brain that gets lit up as if you drop something on your foot or you get an electrical shock or whatever it may be. That same area lights up. So that's why we perceive emotional pain is not really being a good thing. Now, here's the interesting thing. They took, and I was reading this in this book called The Unbeatable Mind, and it's by Alex Lickerman, and he talks about this experiment they did, and they took two groups of people, right? And they took one group of people, and they gave them electric shocks, right? I don't know how they got this experiment approved, but they did it. And so they gave this one group electric shocks, and then and they didn't tell them anything. And they gave this other group electric shocks, but they told them that because they were taking part in this experiment, and they were taking on the ability to have these electric shocks, that they were really going to help them understand things better better about humanity and is really going to help things out. So they had a higher purpose. And these people were able to take more electric shocks and they also, on the pain scale, rated their pain from these shocks, the same shocks that everybody else was getting, lower overall than the other group, right? Because they had no really idea about what was going on. So how can you use this? I'm getting bitten up by no CMs out here tonight. But how can you use this? So when you are out there and you're in sales and business and you're getting those rejections and you're feeling that emotional pain, it's all about using it for yourself. You know, I talked about in an earlier video with Pete Carroll and he was talking about how they compete and what competing really is, and it's going out there and being the best you can be every time you go out there and compete, and using that adversity, using that struggle, using that pain, and loving it because it was what was going to make you compete and be the best you could be. It forces you to take your game to the next level. So really taking that pain and having that kind of mindset about it is all the difference in the world. It's what top people know how to do because top people, they go through a lot more adversity and pain and struggle than everybody else out there. If you read you know, top autobiographies with top coaches, athletes, entrepreneurs, you'll see this. They go through, you think you've gone through a lot, you start reading their stories and you're like, my God, I got nothing to complain about compared to some of these people. And it's all because they know how to view that pain and use it to take their game to the next level versus letting it crush them, which is what most people will do. But I know you're here to kick ass in sales and I know that you can do this too because it's all just a mindset and you, every single person has the ability to take this kind of mindset on and flip things around when they're in a tough, emotional, painful place. They can flip it around and that is what champions are the best at doing and top salespeople know how to do like the best of them. So this is Kerry Sullivan the How to Kick Ass in Sales.com video. Hey, there's a link down here. Click on it, sign up for more free tips and I'll catch you on the next How to Kick Ass in Sales.com video. Bye-bye.